So hi again. We've got three new um, Diamond series phones over here. It's the Diamond S1, S2, and S3. S stands for style, and the reason why we called it the style series was actually because of um, this smartphone over here, the Diamond S1. It has what we call a curved edge display. It's, it, um, it uses a curved glass to give it a very premium feel. Uh, we also have a curved design on the device mm -hmm. with a 12 megapixel camera here over at the back and a 3 megapixel camera at the front, both of them with BSI. Mm -hmm. In terms of the specifications, both the S1 and the S2 are running on 1.3 gigahertz processors, uh, quad core from MediaTek. So this is the newer 6582 processor. All right. Medyo mataas ang benchmarks na eh, no? Yes, like actually. around 17,000 at up mga palo. Yep. Both of these are um, hitting on the 17,000 benchmark score. All right. Uh, they're both running on Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. Actually, if we compare both of these devices, they're quite similar. The only main differences are that this does not have a curved edge display, but it does come with a larger magnet, a larger six inch <laughs> display with dragon trail glass, and uh -huh. also has a magnetic flip cover mm -hmm. with a window with a smart window. So when you receive notifications or you want to check the time, it will just simply appear on the smart window flap. So Ryan, the S1 it doesn't have the scratch resistant. Uh, it's also a scratch resistant. Also, it has uh, that glass. Yes, but uh, a curved style scratch resistant glass. All right. So Ryan, can you give me the key technical specifications or the main selling points of the S1? So the main selling points of both the S1 and the S2 are that they are very powerful and updated quad-core processors uh -huh. with uh, better graphics. As you can see here, despite the fact that they're using uh, QHD resolution, uh, we were able to very much improve on the color quality of the screen. Both are IPS, right? Yes, both of them are IPS. IPS OGS. Yes, they're both IPS and OGS displays, which really help to bring out the color of the devices. On the other hand, the S3 over here, uses a 1.2 gigahertz uh, quad core processor from Broadcom so it's using the same processor as the Navi and it also has the additional advanced navigational support um, using both GPS and GLONASS all right so Ryan can you uh, tell me more about this phone the key technical specifications so the and what S3? makes it different from the S1 because same at on price today, you know? Yeah, so the S1 and the S3 will both be retailing at 8990 The main differences are, uh, while this has a 5-inch display and this has a 5.5-inch display, we have very different uh, design languages for both devices. Uh, this is more curvy. This one's more angular. So it has a very different style. Apart from that, it's using a slightly lower clock quad-core chipset, but it's still quad-core nonetheless. And in terms of the cameras, the S1 has a 12 megapixel camera at the back, while this one has a 8 megapixel camera at the back, but it's still uh, BSI sensor enabled. And I also noticed, Ryan, this one, the, uh, no, the navigation, the, the Android navigation buttons are virtual yes. on the screen. This one, naman, uh, you have it on the capacitive uh, display, so this, this is parang below the screen so, shot. This one is yes. virtual this one's on the screen. within the display. Yes. So we put it on the display just to, um, it's got a certain style to it, which we're really loving here on the S3. All right, Ryan, so can you give me the SRPs of all of the Diamond S uh, series handsets so from the, the S1? So we have the S1 over here. It's at 8,990 pesos. All right. It will be coming with a, a black cover by default, but it will also be coming with a free either yellow or red back cover. All right. We have the S2 over here at 9,990 pesos with a larger 6-inch display, of course, Dragon Trail glass protection, and the free magnetic smart flip cover with right. window. Okay. Lastly, we have the Diamond S3 over here. It will retail for 8,990 pesos with the advanced navigational support and quad-core chipset. All right. So, Ryan, for example, I'm a user and I'm trying to choose between these uh, handsets. Siguro, can you tell, give me an idea about what the kind of user that would be attracted to each of the phones? So, we have the S1 over here, which I personally think is 
um, could be a really uh, solid daily driver smartphone. Uh -huh. It has a lot of nice, uh, it's got quite a nice design. It's very easy to carry around. Uh -huh. And apart from that, in terms of the software features, we were able to add some uh, new implementations to Star Mobile software. Uh, just to show you an example. You have we the have, sync, diba? Yes. It was a presentation earlier. We have the uh, Star Mobile Sync, of course, uh -huh. which is our transfer application to migrate from a different um, device to a Star Mobile phone. Apart from that, we also have gesture mm -hmm. motion, um, gesture um, drawings over here. So depending on the kind of gesture that so you draw siya, screen, can you give me an, a sample of how to okay. do it? If we go over here to the gesture application, you can actually draw different gestures, uh -huh. and those d gestures will correspond to a application certain application uh -huh. that you can um, go to. Just as an example, uh, we have already here a gesture, so we'll just draw one over here. And if you draw that gesture, it's it for goes the calculator. straight to the calculator. So all of the f all of the S series will have that. Yes, all of the S series devices will have that gesture mm -hmm. functionality. It also has um, other features such as the um, touch, uh, the speak to capture uh, camera. So for example, so you can say cheese. You know? Exactly. If you say cheese, run over here. Oops, sorry. So if we say Cheese. Cheese. There we Ayun, go. Gumana. It will actually capture. Nice. So again, Ryan, this is for the... What S kind of users? Oh, this is for um, the... Uh, Android smartphone user, he wants a very nice daily driver, something that he can take pictures with on the go, something that isn't too heavy to carry around. And, and I would imagine because of the design, very curvy. So the girls would appreciate it. Actually, yes, the girls would very much appreciate uh, this kind of smartphone. If you want the same kind of features but on a larger smartphone, mm -hmm. then you'd go with the S2. Since so I guess if you're the screen. type who wants a large display, or maybe if you have, siguro medyo kind of larger fingers, ganyan. Yes. And then you might want to choose this one. Yes. So if you have practically the same specs, exactly. But this one has the bigger display. Exactly. So if you want the larger display, for example, like myself, I use a V7. And I'm personally a big fan of the larger um, displayed smartphones. But I have the V7. Exactly. I have the white one. Naman. Yeah, so this one's the black one. You'll definitely go with something like the S2 since it's got a really large screen. Um, lastly, if you're, of course, a smartphone user and navigation is the kind of thing you're going for, uh -huh. then definitely the S3 is something that you should definitely consider thanks to its um, GPS and GLONASS support, uh -huh. which will help you to, well, get around wherever you want to go. That's great. So basically, the S3 and S1, just about the same, mm -hmm. but this one has slightly lower processor, yeah. uh, processing power, but has that GLONASS uh, GPS support. Yes, it has the right. and GPS support. Thank you so much, Ryan. Great phones. Again, there's a Diamond series devices. Thumbs up.